in Living Grand on Grand Lake. I'm your host, Christy Wallace. With the luxurious Shangri-La Resort, numerous restaurants, shopping, and breathtaking views of Grand Lake, it's no wonder Monkey Island is a popular destination that attracts visitors from near and far. Residents of the island, as many Grand Lakers call it, are a close-knit group that love welcoming guests and friends to their oasis. Always looking for opportunities to enhance life for locals and visitors, local leaders set out to install the Monkey Island Trail, a concrete path to allow easy access to island businesses via golf cart. The path also provides a beautiful path for walkers, runners, and bikers. Mike Williams is a longtime resident of Monkey Island who offered to take us on a trip down the cart path and share more about this unique feature that benefits the community. So Mike, tell me about how did you become a Monkey Islander? What's your history on Monkey Island? Well, you know, I've lived all over this lake starting on Monkey Island as a part-timer uh, years ago. <laughs> I'll, I'll fess up. It was 1972. Oh, wow. Thank so uh, I've lived in Monkey Island. I've lived uh, in Honey Creek and Grove. I've lived in Duck Creek. And Monkey Island's just a special kind of place. It's a true community spirit. I mean, it, it's as close as you can get to small town life in a luxury resort setting. So true, know, right? It's very true. But people are so giving that, you know, anytime somebody has a cause, of course, it has to be a party or nobody will come, <laughs> but they all bring checkbooks with them. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've, we've raised money for lots and lots of events everywhere from small schools to help students to uh, large projects like the Monkey Island Trail. Right, which I love the trail. You know, I um, attended the Poker Run you guys had last year, yeah. which was a blast. And I think it is such a unique feature that you just don't find anywhere. It's amazing. The, the cart path itself, we're not quite complete. We're still trying to raise money to have the it go the full seven mile distance of Monkey Island. We have about five miles of it, a little over five miles of it done. But People are so involved in that community spirit and trying to make things look right, work right, be beautiful, be accessible, be fun, and uh, they just open their hearts and their checkbooks and we all pull together. The, we had the, the little poker run, which ran to all the clubs and restaurants along Monkey Island, along the cart path. A couple hours, one afternoon of fun on the trail. Oh, we raised so eleven thousand dollars. Eleven thousand dollars. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, just, yeah, that's what I loved. You know, we started off down at Terra Miranda, and right. we had a little uh, goldfish race there. So you right. kind of had something fun to do. Right. And of course, had a specialty cocktail or two. Uh, <laughs> you know, so we were just kind of eating and drinking and hopping across Monkey Island on our golf yep. cart, and it was just this, like you said, the spirit of everyone having having such a great time and raising money to, you know. Well, exactly. Well, and I, what I love about Monkey Island is how people love living here, but they also love people coming to visit. You know, they welcome our tourists and our out-of-town guests. Um, and that's what we felt while we were on the poker run. It was just such a fun day, but I love that you can come to Monkey Island, you can come in on a Friday, and between your boat and your golf cart, I mean, you may not touch your car again all weekend long. There's no reason to use a car on Monkey Island. So you can pretty much get you, you everywhere can, by... It is truly a golf cart community, uh, or... or, or uh, Members and hotel guests in Chamberlain now have the option of the power assisted bicycles too. I saw those those, have been right. really popular. So we've got bicycles on the trail, we've got golf carts on the trail, we've got people walking the trail, we've got power assisted bicycles on the trail. It's a it's a unique opportunity to be able to get a new perspective on seeing things that you know the world goes by so fast. But golf carts don't go so fast. So you get a new perspective on how beautiful everything is here. And uh, you have the advantage of being out in the open air and just enjoying the beauty. So, but what if, if you don't live on Monkey Island, let's just say you're coming out here to visit, maybe you're a oh, guest. Oh, that's a mistake. <laughs> so true, right? <laughs> Move here now. Exactly. But let's say you're just coming to check it out for the first time. Um, maybe you're staying at Shangri-La. How can you access this lifestyle on the golf cart? Uh, hotel guests have a, 
a variety of options that they can do. There are power assisted bicycles. Uh, and they're just what they sound like. You don't have to be an in-shape cyclist <laughs> to be able to ride one. They, they feel the need for power and they give it to you. So you can ride those along the trail. Those are available for rent. We also have shuttle service, uh, either in the van from the hotel or golf cart shuttle service. So uh, we use that a lot of hotel guests want to come up to the clubhouse, eat at the summit or play golf. Uh, we just stick them in a golf cart, take them to their golf cart, and then they have their golf cart. So. Yes. So then we show them what it's like to be a real monkey islander, and then they buy a house. And, and then they, they buy a house and yeah, exactly. yeah. And then I'll be interviewing them in a few years. Exactly. How did you get here? I, I, right. Oh, yes, it was a long path. <laughs> well, Mike, thanks so much for taking time and taking me on a little tour today. It's uh, just a neat experience out here. And, of course, you're like a legend on Monkey Island, so I really appreciate you taking the time. Well, thank you. We had a lot of a lot of fun, and it's, uh, it's great to have you on Monkey Island, as we say, where the fun never sets. I agree. And they have their golf cart, so... Yes. So then we show them what it's like to be a real monkey islander, and then they buy a house. And, and then they buy a house in yeah, the exactly. Yeah. And then I'll be interviewing them in a few years. Exactly. How did you get here? I, I, right. Oh, yes, it was a long path. <laughs> well, Mike, thanks so much for taking time and taking me on a little tour today. It's uh, just a neat experience out here. And, of course, you're like a legend on Monkey Island, so I really appreciate you taking the time. Well, thank you. We had a lot of, a lot of fun, and it's, uh, it's great to have you on Monkey Island, as we say, where the fun never sets. I agree. I had a great time cruising down the Monkey Island Trail with Mike. It's such a unique feature and one of many things that make Monkey Island such a fabulous community. You can pull into Monkey Island on a Friday and between your boat and golf cart, never have to use your car again until it's time to go home. Keep an eye out for the annual Monkey Island Poker Run, which takes place in May. The poker stops are planned out along the Monkey Island Trail with games, specialty drinks, and guaranteed fun at each stop along the way.